Hey there, it's Pastor Tanetti with another Daily Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And today we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 102. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home or to listen as I read. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I am like a desert owl of the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely sparrow on the housetop. All the day my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. For the Lord builds up Zion. He appears in his glory. He regards the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and in Jerusalem his praise, when peoples gather together in kingdoms to worship the Lord. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall dwell secure. Their offspring shall be established before you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 102 is a long psalm, and it's another one of what are called the penitential psalms. So we've run across these earlier, Psalm 6, 32, 38, 51, and subsequently in Psalm 130 of the penitential psalms. But here in Psalm 102, it's a little bit different than the other ones. So Psalm 32, for example, is a, a psalm of confession where David is recognizing that his, his bones waste away because of the sinfulness that is within him. Psalm 51, very similar, the same kind of idea of confessing to God a sin. Psalm 102, while a penitential psalm, has a little bit of a different attitude to it. And the section of it that has always especially resonated with me is this last part, beginning with verse 23. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Psalm 102 is a penitential psalm in this respect, that it recognizes the fleeting nature of this life, how we are, as it says in Ecclesiastes, like a breath, a vapor that soon goes away. And so for me, Psalm 102 is one that I turn to especially when I hear of those who are suffering with illness or um, who've been in accidents, those in particular who maybe before their time, as we might say. In fact, I have a good friend right now, even younger than myself, who's struggling with cancer. And for her, I think of a psalm like Psalm 102. He's broken my strength in mid-course. He's shortened my days. Not as a prayer of resignation or despair, but calling out to the Lord and saying, Lord, you are eternal. You will remain forever. We are fleeting. We're like a, a garment that soon wastes away. Have mercy upon us and let us not lose all our strength in mid-course. So for those of you who may be battling with, with health issues or maybe feeling a, a sense of despondency or despair in the midst of life, I encourage you to pray Psalm 102. And if you have a friend or a family member who might be battling, whether it be disease, whether it be this coronavirus, or whether it be a cancer or something else, to offer up Psalm 102 to the Lord, a prayer of hope, a prayer of penitence, a prayer for the Lord to hear on our behalf, knowing that our frame, they are as dust, that he can reach out to us and extend this mortal life. But even if not, we know that from generation to generation, he remains, 
and that we need not fear, but that we have hope in the midst of this mortal life, knowing that our Lord is eternal. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, hear our prayers on behalf of those who are suffering and who are sick and in need, especially those, Lord, who are before their time, who are still are young in years, who are in mid-course. We pray, Lord, that you would not break their strength, but that you would restore them to full health. For all of us, Lord, we recognize that in this mortal life, it goes so swiftly and fleeting. Help us to remember to number our days aright and to look to you as our eternal Lord, the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And may you go forth this day, not breaking your strength, but continuing to rely on the Lord who is your strength, especially in your weakness. Go in his peace. Amen.